working as a actually a TV technician uh, out in the field as a field engineer and was approached by an acquaintance uh, working in Atlanta for a small startup called NetSchools uh, to become a field engineer for them. We were doing server installs of curriculum technology out in schools across the country and about two years later that company was bought up by Play-Doh Learning. Some of the evolutions that I've seen with the company has been our transformation from legacy platforms to our SaaS business moving from servers, networks, workstations, lab-based, very self-contained systems to a fully accessible online platform where students can learn anywhere at any time. It's just incredible to see how quickly we've made that transition. I came to Adventum through a Plato Learning acquisition many years ago, um, and I'm still here today because of the company's belief in education, our focus not just on the educator, but on student and student success. For me, uh, the thing I'm most passionate about in education really is helping the at-risk student, the student that has, needs a second chance in life or has never had a first chance in life. And the company, Adventum, has a long history of helping those students be successful, not just academically, but being successful in school and providing opportunities in life. I joined Education City because I wanted to work for a company that added real value. Ten years ago, I was working in banking, an industry that was in crisis in the UK and not particularly in purple. Knowing the contribution that Education City was making made the move a very easy one, and I haven't looked back since. The thing that kept me at Study Island all these years and through the mergers and everything has been the people. Uh, wonderful people to work with. I mean, I do accounting and I can, I've worked in many different types of fields of business and at Study Island, now at Minton, really the knowing that we help children, that is just a big part of, of where I'm at in my life. My dad was a teacher and so to be able to at least contribute in a way that he didn't. I mean, he taught, I don't teach, but knowing that we're helping the students that are out there and trying to help them to succeed. That's just the awesome thing. And I have wonderful people that I work with and I love it. my 10 years that I've worked with Edmonton, one of my favorite memories is just the people I've worked with and alongside over these years. Uh, one of my favorite memories is a competition that I had back in 2011. And what we did, we dressed up like Reggie from Reading Eggs. We did some singing, we did some talents, and it was two different departments working together. It was a blast, we had a great time, but it also got us into the programs that our customers are in every day and really got to look at the whole program, it was awesome. sticks out for me is the work that we're doing to support our customers um, throughout this country by the work that we're doing through the sales and services organization in terms of being true partners to the district um, and really doing our best to understand what their specific need is and be able to come to the table with the expertise to help translate that need into a program that we can provide to help their students, to help their teachers at the end of the day.
I am most excited about the future with Edmonton because we've always thrived in innovation. But what I'm really excited about is that we're not just innovating our programs, we're also innovating how we are servicing our customers. So we are continuing to push for educator first, making sure that that is always the top thing we're considering when we're building up our services or our programs.